All right, this might look kind of basic, right? Pegs on a pegboard. <laughs> it's one of a kind learning, though. This isn't your average classroom. Nope. Students as young as fourth grade at this tri-state school are getting experience in coding and mm -hmm. robotics. Nine on your sides, Paula Zuro takes a look at the new lab that's making students want to learn more. Through the doors of Indian Hill Elementary School, there's a classroom with tons of new technology, some I wish I had during my elementary school years. And fifth grader Marcus showed us around. Over here, we've got, we've got desks that you can draw with Expo markers. We have our Lego Mindstorms, which you can make into robots. You could call it technology heaven. We have iPads and iPhones for doing projects. Over here, we've got our pegboard. It works from here down, so that means the problem's up here. Students call it their favorite class. It's so cool. It's honestly the coolest thing. It's still new to us, but I mean, so far it's so fun. And faculty call it the iLab. We also have a poster printer, um, a Cricut cutter, Legos and Kiva planks and pegboard wall and duct tape and um, different kinds of robotics, EV3 robotics and spheros. Oh gosh. Oh, cool. It's a brand new room and class for third, fourth, and fifth graders here to experience different science, technology, engineering, arts, and math or STEAM opportunities. Failing is exceeding. <laughs> when she touches me, energy is passing through her into the that arm. Passing into Stella. <laughs> From me, it goes to her, and then it, it goes into the Chromebook. Very self-directed learning. So if they're interested in, in coding with Python, they can go and they can research that and they can work on that by themselves. Oh, it gets stuck in there. These activities and this space made possible thanks to a multi-year grant by the Dorothy Cook Foundation totaling to about $70,000. It's important to start from a young age to give students the experience. Paula Suro, 9 on your side.